Hey guys, welcome back to more Toils. Toils. This time we didn't bathe in acid, so we have more lives. Not many more, but some more. Two is better than none. Let's go, Ethan. You're running into a wall. You silly turtle. It's the acid. I still can't see straight. <laughs> Area 3. Here we go. I'm guessing the cultivation room is just going to be a boss fight, and one of these two is just going to be like one of those two-minute stages where it's just a ton of enemies in one open area. Well, we'll see if you're correct. Isn't this the mark of the Foot Clan? What could that mean? I'm not sure, but they may somehow be connected with those monsters that keep attacking us. You think those monsters are Foot Clan members? That's one possibility. We'll have to investigate. Let's go to that big building way in the back. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. I'm guessing that big building is the genetic lab. Looks like the biodome. Maybe Pauly Shore, aka the Weasel, will be there. What's the biodome? You never seen that movie? What movie? Biodome. It's with Pauly Shore, the Weasel, and uh, Alec Baldwin, I believe. One of the Baldwins. It's just a really like cheese butt movie. It's called the Biodome. Yeah, it's called Biodome. What's it about? Is it about the Biodome? Yeah, they're in it the whole time. I don't know. Is it like some stupid monster movie or what? No. It's like a more like a stoner movie. I Weird. would say. You know who Pauly Shore is, though, right? No. Really? He really? was in Encino Man? I've heard of that, I've never heard, watched it though. He always does those stupid impressions that are always like, <laughs> and he's like, I'm the weasel! That's like his whole stick. No idea who you're talking about, honestly. Really? <laughs> he's almost worse than Nicolas Cage. Almost? Or maybe, maybe he is, I don't know. Ooh, electric. We should go back and make sure we didn't miss any boxes then. Okay. Because those shurikens proved to be invaluable during that refight of the boss. Right? Ooh, you get that. And before this, Ethan was telling me that he does know the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme song, which I was surprised about. So, Ethan, I want the proof. I want to be the very best, like no turtle ever was. <laughs> to beat them is my real test. To not be seen is the cause. Heroes in a half shell. Doo doo. Turtle power. Close enough, I guess. That's the right one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, Mike Landro just yells, Mikey, 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 Mikey. I suppose. Ethan never watched the Turtles when he was younger, so. No. Like, I've seen Secret of the Ooze probably ten times, other than that. It's such a weird one to watch, the second one, ten times. Because it's the only, it's like one of the only good movies we have on VHS at the cottage, though. What else are you going to do when it starts raining? True. Well, we oh, got... wow. I need pizza really bad. Really, the problem was, do you want to watch Secret of the Ooze for the 10th time or Pet Detective for the 25th time? Oh, man. I don't know. Ace Ventura is pretty solid, too. Yeah, Ace Ventura is pretty solid, but when it's either Pet Detective for the third time this week or Turtles Turtles Secret of the Ooze for, like, the second time that month. Secret of the Ooze is pretty good, I think. Yeah, so, Secret of the Ooze isn't bad. You get the Go Ninja rap. Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go. I also get to blow myself up there. And you get Super Shredder. Yeah, Super Shredder. You also get Toka and Razar, don't you? Yeah. I like that movie. The first one's obviously the best one. And I actually like the movies that were produced by Michael Bay, too. They didn't get good reviews, but most of the reviewers were basing it on plot, and I was more or less looking at it more towards action and comedy. Have Turtle movies ever had a good plot? You know, not really, because it's kind of hard to have... A believable plot, I guess, when there's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as your main characters. Especially when they're like 30, 40 years old now. Well, I mean, movies and cartoons never age, really. Yeah. Look at The Simpsons. Maggie's been a baby forever. You know what's weird about that? You know, got, you know the guy who runs, who runs the Quick Mart, Pooh? Yeah? Yeah, his kid aged in the show. Really? Like, his kid was like a baby at the same time Maggie was a baby, and then like his kid actually aged. Like, his kid's like in middle school or something now. 
Really? All right, we gotta be super careful, otherwise we're gonna have to play this all again. Yeah. There's electric. Let's just get out of the electric. Because we're out of lives now. That's not good. I need pizza too, which is the worst part about it. And we have two more stages to go. I feel like one of those stages is just going to be a boss fight, though, like the one with uh, Super Mouser. Watch out for these barrels. That's what killed me a lot in this one so far. Yeah. Just use your shurikens now, I guess, too. Yeah. Just for safety. Don't hit these barrels, please. Yeah. You don't have to. It usually hurts me more than the enemies. Ouch. Yeehaw! Rawhide, rope them. Oh. oh. Watch out, there's barrels here. Throw your shurikens in there if they hit the barrels. Because the shurikens mainly target the barrels. Remember that uppercuts will knock these guys onto the back no matter what. Shoot. Ooh. I honestly lost, like, two lives to start from those barrels. You must have only lost one, though, because we only had two lives entering here. That's true. Because I just used up a life. We need this stage to be over quickly. I think this is the end of it. It's Sweet. funny that this game is becoming difficult out of nowhere. This has got to be the end. Nice. Yes. And then this stage should be pretty short, too, and then we should just have a boss, hopefully. The genetic lab. How big can the genetic lab really be? And then the cultivation room, that's just one room. Well, that will be the boss. Mm -hmm. We only have one shot at him, so we gotta be careful. Just what is going on here? This must have been a laboratory for experimenting on live specimens. Some of the monsters must have somehow escaped to the outside. But there isn't a single person here. Not even one researcher. Judging from the state of things here, I'd guess something forced the Foot Clan to abandon these facilities. I wonder what it was. Anyway, do you think these things are still alive? Hmm, I'm not sure. It looks like the life support systems are partially functional. I guess they're alive! Well, that's good news! Is that really good news? Why can't we just get a mini game of pulling the plugs? I'm like super focused right now. I do not want to get hit. We did get full health. I know. Which is nice. I'm glad they give you full health in between stages. They don't refill your shurikens, though. Watch over those computers, they blow up. That's completely a hunch. I had no idea if they would, but I assume so. Since, you know, it was sparking glowing. Right. Good hunch. Your gut is telling you right. What'd you feed it last night? Garbage. Well, I'll eat that again tonight. You eat garbage? Yeah. Oh. I'm just three raccoons in a trench coat. Remember, you need to switch to those to use those. There's another box there if you want to get it. Wait, did you just see it? <laughs> what? You just said you're three raccoons in a trench coat? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, you didn't hear anything. That would be a funny disguise. That would make a good cartoon. That would make a really good costume, actually, if you could pull it off. I mean, why else, why else would I eat garbage, and why else would I be having, like, three cans of garbage lined up with one mouth eating out of each one? You never question why I had, like, two mouths in the middle of my stomach that were furry and sounded like raccoons? Yeah, that just reminds me of Total Recall. Quaid. Yeah. Quaid! Kind of want to see what's... Oh, this guy's right here. This is health. I couldn't... I could use it. You can go for it. Yeah. The drink does nothing. Yeah, the drink is the worst healing item of them all. Well, what a weird level. 
from the biodome. I'm assuming you can't fall off, but I don't want to test it with zero lives. You know? Yeah, I feel ya. Like, I want to test it, but I don't want to test it. It looks like we're in a video game in a video game here. It looks like we're inside, like, the Virtual Boy. Doesn't Virtu it? Yeah, Virtual Boy is weird. Virtual Boy was all red, though, but I can see where you're coming from. All the red underneath us that talk about. It's like we're in the Tron universe or something. It is. I feel like Tron would be a really cool VR game. Yeah, and the light cycles. That'd be so fun. Because there is like a VR Mario Kart where you actually sit in a cart that turns. So how hard would it be to make like a motorcycle and make Tron VR? If you oh. have that. That's a good one too. Yeah, that would have healed us halfway. You, we haven't seen a pizza since like the second world, which sucks. Yeah, they're not generous with the old pizza. Which is kind of weird because it's a Turtles game. Exactly, you usually see pizza all the time. Yeah, or at least like a slice or something, you know what I mean? There's guys who are right. I think we have another box over here. Okay. A scroll! It's a ninja scroll. The dragon scroll. Wait a second, there's nothing on this. It's empty. It's because it's inside of you. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? A yeah, different ninja movie. Panda. Yeah. I love when Master Shifu looks at the scroll and he like looks at it all different ways. He's like, "What? <laughs> we gotta go in that door." Anyway, nothing something over, over here. here. Really, nothing. nothing. Oh. Do you think they're ever gonna make another Kung Fu Panda? I hope so. Yep, still working. Let me take a little peek. What could the Foot Clan have been doing here? We can be sure they weren't working for the benefit of the world. But look at all the damage here. It's like a fight broke out between April and Casey. Look at this, guys. Some video data was preserved. Day one, project commences. Master Shredder believes his enemies have taken refuge underground. Our foot soldiers have been unable to locate them, so the genetic division has been directed to mutate human subjects so that they can explore deeper into the Earth. No! Please! The subject appears to be in some discomfort, but this is a minor annoyance. The experiment appears to be a success, though the subjects are exhibiting reduced intelligence. Day 575. The creatures are showing signs of instability. Becoming angry and vicious. The creatures have freed themselves. They are more intelligent than we ever dreamed. They, they have been manipulating us all along, waiting for their moment to escape. No, no, keep away. And that is why you don't mess with genetics. What if I want to inject my tomatoes with potatoes? The potato tomato? <laughs> I think you're onto something there. All right, mess away. Mess away. All right, so this is going to be the boss fight. After all, then you could have a potato tomato. Ooh. Wait, are you telling me that those things we've been fighting all this time are not monsters, but who are you anyway? You can talk? We're not with the Foot Clan. I am Leonardo, and these are my brothers, Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo. Then what are you doing with those crystals? Whoa, wait a minute. We found those crystals in a cavern we're staying in. That's all. Those crystals are the embodiment of evil. Why have you come here? We wanted to solve the mystery of these crystals. We had no intention of fighting you. You're really not with the Foot Clan? Of course not! Don't even compare us to that jerk Shredder! I see. Then I must apologize. I'm Quarry. We had ourselves convinced that the Foot Clan was back. 
No, it was awful. When we saw your friends, we... No. Those ones have already lost their minds. We can no longer do anything to stop them. So, Quarry, is there any way out of here? There is an elevator to the above-ground world from the supercomputer room right next to us. But... But? Some of the most dreadful of those mindless monsters wait just beyond this wall. And of course they too were originally humans, right? That jerk Shredder! He's inhuman! But we have to go on. It's the only way. They were once good people. But in this state, you need no longer think of them as human. And so, if it comes down to it... Uh. King Nail? Holy cow. At least he's not King Pin. That's true. Let's see if we can put a nail in this guy's coffin. You have fire shurikens. Oh, I just hit you with that. I don't think you can, because I don't take any damage. It enters. Oh, he takes a ton of damage from those. If they hit, at least. Whoa, that's a lot of poison. I thought we were going to be friends. Can't those other two guys be like, whoa, 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 wait a second. The turtles are on our side. This guy doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, he doesn't block, at least. Watch out for his flying sweep. Watch as, like, after this we get to fight three more bosses. Like, you have a jump attack. That hurt a lot. Yeah, the jump attack. Careful, careful, careful. There's boxes over here. Scroll. You should open the other one. There's, there's gotta be more boxes. Watch out. We should stay separated. Okay. Careful, Ethan. I'm just gonna try to get a hit on him before I die. Never mind. Oh, that's not good. Come on, Mikey, it's Jump up to you. Around. Oh yeah, you don't even get a jump attack. I need him to do his land thing. I don't think he can hit me right here. He's breathing awfully loud. Okay, that's what I need him to do, but I can't get hit by it. Uh, looks like this is going to be the end for us. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, come on. We did it, just not close enough to you. Those fire shurikens hurt him so much when I had those, and so did my jump attack. Sucks not dead. Oh yeah. I can maybe pull this off if I get lucky. Yeah, you can only if you get hit though, you're dead. I am invincible during dashes. So that's the one good thing I have going for me. Yeah, you can't dash forever. Or can I? You gotta stop dashing at some point, or else you'll never hit him.
I've never been this nervous before during a beat em up boss fight. Yeah, this is like an actual. This is like something <laughs> you'd expect out of like an actual boss fight in like a hard game. Ah, uh, that was stupid of me. Ugh. All right, we're gonna have to see you guys next time at that boss fight. We will see you then. Bye.